because you're going into like these mainstream media outlets and you're kind of they kind of pitch you as like the extreme vegan and then you get told you're too aggressive you're too forceful yeah what like why do you keep that like you you've never kind of mollified your approach you you remain really yeah mm. you you use the strong language you're really direct mm. yep. do you find that it's effective like to be this forceful well it depends on who you're talking to and I, like um i was always taught to always speak forcefully when you're speaking for animal rights um you know uh for me this is a serious issue animals being abused and i want people to take animal abuse seriously so i don't want to be seen as someone who's going to take these these things lightly and when i go on tv especially they always have someone who's anti-vegan or someone really who's really opposing the position and i will defend the animals vehemently and um for me like coming from where I, where i come from i appreciate that direct approach and it was someone like uh a gary urofsky who was very direct and spoke uh very passionately and he spoke the truth mm. and he didn't pander and he, he said how he said it how it was and you know, th this is how. Like, I, I think we need to give people more credit. Like, people are adults. You know, they can handle the truth, right. and they don't need need me to pat them on the back every five minutes. Like, I'm an animal defender, and you know, some people just need to be told straight. Look, you're abusing animals through your lifestyle. This has to stop. Um, I have tried the the more gentle, you know, Socratic approach, and I'm a big uh, advocate of the Socratic method. Um, but for me, like, if I want someone defending me, if I want someone defending, like, a child from being abused, it's got to be direct. It's got to be a no BS approach. Um, and when you've got seven minutes, you've got to cut in. Like, for me, right. I've got to cut in. I've got to say what I have to say. And, you know, I've had, I've had um, a lot of success with the way I do things. Not everyone's the same individual, you know. Some yeah. people love, like, I love Earthling Eddie's, like, one of my favorite activists. But not everyone gels with his approach, and some people need the the intense. Yeah, I need to be told, and yeah, you know. Well, that's so. an interesting point that like you're speaking to, I suppose, your past self, what he would have needed to hear mm. from an activist. That's really interesting. And what I and also like how I feel like I feel like it's more effective um, to be direct, because if I could leave someone with a question in their mind, or yeah. I could just give someone the truth right there and then, yeah, uh, what it actually is. So. So I feel like people need to be held accountable for their contribution to something that is horrific. And if we don't hold people accountable, why would they change? Like I changed out of, you know, feeling responsible and out of guilt and I didn't want to be a hypocrite anymore. That's why I changed. Yeah. Why would you change your past behavior if you're not motivated to, mm. you know? And I feel like for me, if like we need all these different types of approaches, but we need us all saying the same thing, yeah. you know? So like, let's just say my demeanor, or, you know, I might be a bit too aggressive for someone. If they fall onto the, the more um, sort of gentle activist, but we're both saying exactly the same thing, you're paying for animals to be stabbed to death, okay, but they say it in a nicer way, then they're going to fall back onto that person and be like, well, the message is the same at least. Right. You know? Yeah. So no matter how you choose to do it, if you're not like me and you choose to do it in a, with a different demeanor, the message should still be the same. We shouldn't, like, we shouldn't um, enable someone's choice to do something that's obviously cruel because if you were on the other end of the knife you wouldn't want someone to enable the oppressor to do what they do to you mm -hmm. so um that's how i look at it i look at it from the victim's perspective and yeah, yeah. it's awesome it's really bold it's really like uh, it, it's a bold form of activism because a lot of the time you're putting this message out there people won't like you but the message kind of remains i think it's really cool yeah props to you